I've uh, been hiking for about two hours now, and uh, we just passed the Russell Mountain turnoff, which I am not taking today. I think it's actually closed right now because of some downed trees. But that was a 2.8 mile mark, which means that I'm, I'm a little past that actually, which means I'm doing about 1.5 miles an hour. I'm doing a nice slow pace. I'm in no real hurry to get anywhere. I don't have uh, anything to do tonight except sit around and read a book, cook some dinner, and I'm only planning on going to the Comstock Mountain Park, which is another, once I get there, I'm pretty sure that's as far as I'm going tonight. I don't even know if I'm going to go up the mountain tonight. I might just stop at the bottom, like I mentioned earlier. And, um, That's only about another two to three miles. I'm, I gotta check my maps again. But it's uh, three o'clock now, and if I'm doing a mile and a half, that's two more hours. Put me in my camping area about five o'clock. That's plenty of sunlight outlook. Sun's been going down around 7:30 here. Give me time to set up camp and uh, set up camp and cook some dinner and such forth. Oops. Hard watching the camera and looking around and a lot of little rocks out here. Huh. Sorry. I see a house or something down here off to the left. I haven't seen much of that. It's pretty far down there. I'm not sure if it's a house or just an out type house. So but I'm definitely still on the trail, so no worries. It's hard to see a white roof. Might even be a pond, boy. I don't know. You guys can see that down there? It might even be a little pond. I have to get my map out and see. I thought it was a little roof, but now I kind of think maybe it's a bed of water. I don't know. Anyways, I'm just gonna keep going here get to my spot where I'm staying the night and I thought about this I'm doing a out and back hike so I think it's probably best if I uh, do my easy easy meals on the way in that gives me a time frame how long I'm on the trail for I know how long I have on the way back then do the more difficult meals on the way back I don't have anything that's really that difficult it's all just rehydrating uh, I'm making pancakes one morning, so I'm going to save that for the trip back. Kind of a last day pancake breakfast type thing. Uh, the rest of it's pretty simple. But, anyways, just wanted to give you guys a heads up on where we are on the hike and how it's going. I'm breaking a little sweat, I guess. The, uh, it's in the 3 o'clock, highest point of the day. Sun's overhead pretty good. And uh feels great though, the breeze is awesome. Like I said, high seventies. Maybe we broke into the eighties, but I seriously doubt we even got that hot today. So pretty excited about this week. Been planning this for a while and had to move it from last week just because uh some other people at my work needed off last week, so I had to move mine. Worked out to my advantage because last week it rained all week. Well, for the good part of it rained. So switching it worked out to my advantage because, man, this weather is beautiful. So, no complaints from me. Uh, really enjoying it so far. I'm going to let you guys go, get back to hiking because I'm trying to talk and focus here. I'm tripping over a lot of rocks. And it is pretty rocky out here. I'll show you the trail a little bit. You can see, there's not big rocks, just little ones, but that's enough to catch your feet up here. Not keeping your eye open a little bit. Doesn't make it hard to look around, but not too hard. Alright, well, I'll catch you guys later. Alright, I'm uh, going to cook my lunch a little bit here. Figured I'd stop and cook some lunch. It's uh, not a very extravagant lunch, but nonetheless, I'm going to go ahead and cook some hamburger helper.
uh, basically mac and cheese with hamburger. So I got a, about a cup of water in here and probably too much fluid in here, but we'll get it started. It's hard to tell when it's to start it like this. So what I usually do is I take a leaf and just uh, check it that way. And sure enough, it's started. And I got a piece of carbon felt down because I don't want to damage the uh, moss on the rock here. Uh, no reason for me to leave any uh, trace of myself being here behind. So I put a piece of carbon felt because I'm going to put a windscreen around it. And if too much heat forms, I don't want it to actually burn the um, moss off of the in here. I think we got a good blossom going. I can just start to see it. It's hard to see in the sunlight, but it is there. And this is not the steadiest rock, but it will work for the purpose of today. Oh. Just need to keep the uh, wind from coming back around it. And very low wind today. Very low wind, so that's good. Okay, I'm gonna put my lid back on now. There's just too much fire rolling around the outer edges of it at first. I actually tried to melt my lid. So I don't like the plastic lid. Open that up a little bit. I'm trying to keep the bottom even with my felt. That's when the heat come out the sides there. Ouch. That is hot. <laughs> too much flame coming out of there. Got to a boil already though. That was rather quick. You can see this thing is flaming in itself and off, off the sides of it. Gonna have to make sure I don't put as much fluid in there next time. And as much alcohol, I mean. It's a simmer right now. We'll let it finish out and boil. And then I'll use my windscreen as a pot grabber as well. I don't have my pot grabber out. It's in with my food bag, I believe, and I didn't dig it out, and I should have. <coughs> Blow that puppy out. And I'm going to uh, make sure it's all out. I'm going to find a flat spot for my mix here. I think the only flat spot was that one there. I'm going to get one down here good. Trash in my pocket. And then I can take my lid off. And use this as a pot grabber as well. And just pour that into that line, like I said. Didn't take that much at all. Alright, I, uh, Need my fork here, which I didn't get out, so give me just a second here. Get that out, that's definitely out. Until I get my fork, I'm just going to cover that to keep it hot. I say fork, and I got a spoon, really. This is the start of this, and after you put it in here, get all that stuff mixed together. And basically, you just let it sit for a little bit. But what I'm going to do, is since I brought my uh, cozy for my other pot, I'm just going to set it in there. Just keep it cooled off a little bit, maybe, I don't know. Try to keep some of that hot water in there. Oh, I didn't use all that hot water at all. It's hot still. Put that back in the bottle, no reason to throw that away. It's been boiled. I got a little fuel left in there. I'll put that back. Give this. I'm gonna give it a little more than three minutes because we're actually just rehydrating by letting it soak in hot water instead of uh, boiling it in the mic or in the microwave. So while that's going on, I'm gonna turn off the camera and check out my map and see where I have to go next.
All right, so this has to be made. This is just too weird to have all this gravel right in the middle here. It is a pain in the butt to walk on. They just dropped rocks all down the middle of this trail. And this is the trail that heads to Tomsock Mountain's high point. The highest point in Missouri. So, I'm going to take it. Head up to the top. See how it looks. Looks like beautiful weather tonight. So maybe I'll just camp up there tonight. I don't know. Said I'd go until 5. It's about 5 o'clock now. But, I'll have to come back down this tomorrow to get to my other destination, which is Johnson Sheddon's. So, I'm going to go ahead and continue to climb this rocky path to the top and for the first time in my life be at the highest point in Missouri. Since I live in Missouri, it's kind of odd that I've never been to the top of Tom Slock Mountain. So, I can put that in my bucket list and say it's done. Not a big accomplishment, but for someone who lives in Missouri, something that should be there. At least if they're an outdoors person. Alright. I'm going to continue to walk this rocky road here to the end. It's about half a mile from where that picture of the sign was I just took a minute ago. So I got about, oh, I don't know, 20 minutes of this road, I'm guessing. Maybe less. All right, we'll get a picture from up top. Talk to you guys later. Boy, the trail going to the top is all graveled out. Beautiful, last 400 feet. Just nice little gravel walkway. There was a little box where you could pick maps and stuff. There's a parking lot real close to here, so people will probably come to the parking lot, take the trail to the top, and never get out on the rest of the trail, my guess. Let's see, high point, 130 feet that way, parking lot. 930 feet that way, yeah. So, we'll head to the high point. We'll come back and we'll find somewhere to camp off. I'm sure I can't camp up here. This is a, more of a tourist area and I don't want to... Sidewalks, look at this. Yeah. I don't want to camp by a bunch of touristy people walking around in the morning and waking me up. So I'll head back to my... towards my next destination and camp somewhere out there. But it would be nice to... um I guess this is it. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like a top of a mountain or something. Last time I opened one of these up, my wasps flew out. Oh, look. Place to sign in. Huh. Nice. And here's the highest elevation. Right there. So this is kind of it. I guess that rock would be the highest elevation. There's nothing around this area that's higher than it. <laughs>